What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. This tutorial isn't going to be related to audio directly. Uh, instead, I'm going to show you how to set up a blog. What a blog is, is it's a way for you to have a, a kind of a simple website where you can post whatever you want. You know, you, you can post um, interviews, you can post how-to articles, you can just post whatever it is you're thinking about at the moment. You know, it's all really up to you to decide. But it's a way for you to, you know, get out there in the public, have a website that you can send people to so that they can learn more about you. Maybe you want to showcase your songs or maybe you want to talk about events that's coming up that you're involved with um, or just whatever. And uh, it's really easy. Uh, I think more people should be getting involved in, in getting their own blog as a marketing tool um, and also as just a way to... Um, you know, participate in the social nature of the Internet. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, <clears throat> the easiest way to do that is to sign up with a service called Blogger. And Blogger is part of the Google uh, network of, uh, of, of, of websites and applications. So in order to access that, you're going to want to have a Google account. Now, if you have a Gmail account already, you already have a Google account. You don't have to worry about that. If you don't have a Gmail account, um, then you need to go to gmail.com. And when you get there, you'll see that you can sign up for Gmail, create an account. Um, I'm sure you've all done that before. You know how to register for a site. It's basically the same thing. You give it a little bit of info about you, your username that you want, your password, etc. Now what I'm going to do on the screen, I'm going to log in as one of my Google accounts. I have a couple of them. This one you can see it's from 2004. It's old. I don't use it <clears throat> very often, but for the demo it's going to work fine. We're going to sign in and it's going to put me into my um, into my Google account. Okay, and You can see I've got a lot of messages in here. But Really what I'm more interested in is just logging in and then I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to go to blogger, B-L-O-G-G-E-R dot com. When you get to blogger dot com, it's going to, um, if you're, if you already have some blogs, it may already log you in automatically and show you your blogs because you can make as many blogs as you want using blogger dot com. Uh, but in this case, you can see I'm here and it shows me um, that I can sign in with my Google account. I'm going to hit the sign in button. And then it's going to ask me about that. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And there I am. Okay, so... I'm going to set up my display name here to be NFX and I'm going to click that I accept and then I'm going to continue. Now it's going to ask me what do I want to call my blog? Okay, so this is where you're going to have a little bit of, of fun being able to call it whatever you want. Um, and like I said, you can make as many of these as you want. So if you decide you want to change it later, you can actually edit it later, but uh, for this case, we'll call it, um, I don't know, I'm not feeling too creative today. I'll just call it Warbeats Blog, just for the fun of it. And the blog address, this is where you're going to actually have your own web address. So it could be whatever whatever you want here, you know, it could be your name dot blogspot.com. You can see here in this part, this is what's going to be added to it. Um, I'm just going to call it WB-blog. Okay, and then I'm going to hit check availability. And that's going to go out and look and see if it exists. And it says, oh, sorry, this blog is not available. So you can try one of these other ones. Or I can just type in a new one. So I call it WB-blog. Or actually, let's call it uh, WB-news. Okay, let's see if that one's available. That one's also not available. 
Okay. So let's we'll just use NFX WB News. And then I'll go ahead and continue. Now, on the next screen, it's going to ask you to choose a template. And this is basically how your blog's blog is going to look. And you get a little picture preview of the various types. And you can find one that looks close to what you want. Now, all of this is customizable. Um, there's other templates available. But just to get started, just pick any one of these. Um, I think I'll pick this one. It's called Sand Dollar. And then I'll hit Continue. And then it says your blog has been created. Okay, and then you click start blogging and we'll we'll see what, what's going on with that. Now the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna put you in this mode where you can actually edit a message. It's gonna create a message. And the reason is if you have a blog or a website, you need to actually say something to put up there. So I might just say, hello, welcome to my blog. Okay, you could put whatever you want in here. Um, and uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll go to the beginning of that, and I might even click here to add an image. And then it's going to tell me, you know, do you want to browse? How do you want it laid out? You know, do I want the image over here on the, on the left side? Do I want it in the center with the text below it? Do I want it on the right side, etc.? I want it on the left. Um, I'll go ahead and browse. And then I will upload the image. Oh, we have to make sure we accept and we'll upload the image. So it's uploaded the image. I'll say done. And then there you can see the image. Actually, I think I'm going to change that image. Didn't Didn't want that one. So let me go back. I'm going to browse. There we go. Let's let's open this other one. Upload image. Okay, that's the one I wanted. Okay, so this one I can get rid of. I'll just click on it and hit delete. Say hello, welcome to my blog. You can see there's the uh there's the uh, image there. Now, I don't feel like typing a lot, so I'm just going to copy this text over and over. So you can see how it wraps around there. You see that so you so your image is going to be in there. And actually, let me copy it without the uh without the enter key in there. Let's see. So I'm gonna go here. Whoops. That's what I wanted. But well, I'm really screwing it up now. There we go. This is what I wanted to do. Okay, so you can see how you can type whatever you want. It's going to wrap around the image. And then you can give it some labels. And labels are useful because if you know you're going to be talking about different um, topics, different themes, like maybe one, one, one set of your articles or your posts are going to be about a review you know let's say you're doing reviews for um, drum kits right so you might put a label of drum kits in there and reviews and then over time as you make new posts they'll be grouped together so I can if I was visiting your blog I could go visit all your reviews or all of your drum kit related posts etc so it's good to put in some labels Okay, so then we're going to publish this, and when we hit publish, it's going to tell me that it was published successfully, and I can view my blog. So let's go look at my blog. Okay, so this is what my blog looks like. Now, I'll give it to you. It looks a little bit, uh, you know, like these little icons here, kind of, you, you know, you don't know what they do right now. Um, and it's not a great looking blog, but you can, like I say, you can customize this. Um, later but you can see that it made a post there's my post people can make comments on my post 
if they wanted to. Um, there's my labels. So if, if someone was reading a review and they wanted to see more of my reviews, they would just click here on reviews. It keeps an archive here. Uh, the archive will basically show by year and by month and then all your articles within that. So as, over time, you're going to build up a lot of posts and they'll be archived over here. Um, if people come to your blog and decide to follow it, they'll click here and you'll see who your followers are. And then you can also put in something about yourself in the, um, in the profile. Now, all of this can be customized. And for example, I may not want to show my followers right here, right? I don't want that there. So instead, I'm going to click this. And this other window pops up and it's called followers. And this is giving you an example of what it would look like if I actually had followers. But I don't want this here. So I'm going to say remove. And it's going to ask me, am I sure? And I say yes. And it closes. And now you can see that it's gone. Okay. Um, I may also want to customize it further. Like I might want, let's say I want to add a sound click player to the side here. So what I'll do is since I'm logged in and viewing my blog, I have some options across the top. New post, if I wanted to make a new post. Uh, customize, that's the one we're looking for. I'm going to click that. Okay, so now we're looking at the basic layout of the blog. And you can see these uh, sections here, these areas represent the various um, parts of the blog that we saw before. The part across the top, that's where it said the name of our blog, that's called the header. We have the sidebar here where we currently have the blog archive in the uh, About Me, that's your little profile section. And then on the right, in the big area, that's where your blog posts were displayed. So we can add a gadget. And there's many types of gadgets you can add. Um, in this case, let's look and see here. We want to add, um, I think I'm going to add a link list. And a link list is basically a bunch of links that go to places that you like to visit or that you want other people to know about. And if you're following this tutorial, please set up your blog to have a link back to, um, to Warbeats. So we're going to call this section links. And we're going to say we want to show 20 links. I'm not going to do 20 links, but this will just make sure that at least 20 will show at any time. We're not going to sort it. And we're going to set up a link to www.warbeats.com. And the site name, we're going to call it FL Studio Tutorials. Okay, so if you do this on your own blog, you're going to help Warbeats out because people are going to know about Warbeats and, and, and come visit it. And you're going to show your support for the site. So please, please do this. Um, but okay, let's hit save. And uh, now we look over here and you can see it's added your links. Now you may not want the links to be on top. You can just simply drag it to the spot you want it. Maybe you want it on the bottom or maybe you want it in the middle. It's all up to you. Um, and then let's take a look at that. So now we'll say view blog. Oh, actually, we want it, it's telling us we need to save. So let us hit save up here. Okay, now we'll say view blog. And there it is. There's our archive. There's our links. There's the link that I just put in to Warbeats, etc. There's the blog. Now, when a visitor comes here, they're not going to see some of this stuff. Like they're not going to see these little icons that only you see because you can use those to do things. Like let's say you wanted to edit the post, you can click the pencil. That'll take you right back into the editor, let you edit the post. Okay, so it's, I might want to add here, let's say, welcome to my blog. I'll add a title. It's always good to have a title. Then I'll publish this again. And we'll say view the blog. <clears throat> and there it is. Okay, so we've started, you know, we've started out, um, and you can see, by the way, up here, this is your website address. This is your blog website address, so you can give that that out, and people will go to your blog and always see what the latest uh, news is or the latest post is. Okay, but let's, let's go a little step further and say we want to add, uh, let's say, a sound click player to the sidebar over here. 
So um, in order to do that, uh, first we have to get the code for the sound click player. So let's uh, let me go over here, and you know I don't use my sound click as much as I used to, uh, but we can go here to where it says widgets and banners. I'm logged in. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, I'm logged into my sound click and. If you don't know about SoundClick, learn about it, get an account there, and upload some of your music. Um, okay, so but anyway, so I want to go to Widgets and Banners. And once I'm here, it's showing me, okay, there's the uh, premium MP3 player, and down here's the basic MP3 player. And uh, let me see if I can fix this so it shows up. Pick the one you want, which is that one set it up how you want in this case I'm gonna say that the user has to click the start button and then you can basically grab what's in here and you can see when you click in here it says it's copied it so there it is and then we're gonna go back to the uh, to the blog and we're gonna say customize we're going to add another gadget. Now, Blogger calls them gadget. SoundClick calls them widgets. They're basically the same thing. We're going to add a gadget. <clears throat> and there's no SoundClick gadget over here, but there's one called HTML JavaScript. So if you're embedding a YouTube video or, uh, you know, a Flash Play or something, this one's a handy one to have. And we'll call this we'll call this one my sound click. And then for the content, we'll just paste in what we copied from sound click. And there it is. And we'll say save. Whoop, save. And then we'll go view the block. And then if we uh <laughs> We click on a track it starts to play so now I have my sound click over here okay now you can do that also in the body of a post let me show you how that's done because you might want to make a post let's make a new post <clears throat> and in this new post I'm gonna say check out this video and then I might want to embed a video in there right so you can click this button that says add video right there. But before we do that, I want to know what video I'm going to add. So let me just open up a new tab real quick. I'm going to go to YouTube. And I'm just going to find one of one of my videos real quick. Uh, let's see. We'll do uh, we'll just do this one, I guess. OK, so here you can see there's the code to embed it but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say uh, go back to our blog put the cursor right here where we want it we want it underneath this and we're gonna say add a video uh, oh and actually I take this back this will let you actually upload your own video which we don't want to do so let's let's go ahead and grab the uh, the code so what we want to do on this side is where it says embed this is the code that lets you put any YouTube video into a post. So we're going to highlight it and say copy. You can also customize the player to match. Like let's say I wanted it with an orange theme so it'll match better. And I want it with an orange border. Okay, so that's going to that's going to match a little better. And then I'll go ahead and copy that again. And we'll go back here. Now remember, I want mine to appear after. Well, if I do it right, if I paste that embed code right here, it's not going to work right. I have to go to Edit HTML, and then in this mode, I can paste. And you can see, you know, it has all this weird information in there. That, but that's why you have to be in HTML mode. If I go back to Compose now, it's trying to, to render it, but you don't see it in Compose mode. So you're going to have to preview it. Now if I preview it, you can see it shows up. Check out this video. You can see it's got my orange box and it's got my video inside of it. So it looks good. I'll say publish post. And now let's go view my blog. See, there's my blog. There's my there's the date of this post it's saying check out this video. Below that you can see 
my previous entry and this will only show so many entries on the front page but then over here you can see I can go directly to any specific post If I click here welcome to my blog it shows me that if I click here check out this video it will only show me that one and then up here you can see that each one of your posts also has its own page name that you can reference so if you wanted to send people just to this post to, to, to see this one particular thing you just paste this to them in an email or or in your signature of a place or whatever but then you could see there it is it's embedded matching my site you know you might want to make a, a blog about the different um, tutorials that you've watched and that you think are useful a lot of people do that you know and then they'll they'll run some ads on the side over here and they can make a little bit of money doing that I mean it's free money too for for running the ads you just you, you get paid for people just visiting your site so then you're trying to get people basically just to come and look at your site and hope that they click on an ad but there you go I mean I've showed you how to put your sound click how to embed video how to create a blog um, you can do more customizing of it you might want a, a nice picture logo across the top you can do that um, if you go to customize here um, you can go up here where it says Warbeats blog header and say edit you're gonna get the, uh, the little edit thing up here you can give it a description info about Warbeats is my description you should do that if you have an image you want to upload you can do that um, now this may not all look that great because I really wasn't prepared to make a blog that looks good I wanted to make a blog that uh, just to show you but I'm gonna I'm gonna load that up this image has a transparent background well, that's gonna be important you want to make an image with a transparent background or a background that matches the color of your header um, and this is gonna appear behind the title and description it, it, let me just show you what's gonna have it's gonna look ugly but just so you get an idea so you can see there's my image up there and then it tried to put war beats across the top which is what we didn't want to happen so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna customize it again and then I'm gonna edit it and so I'm gonna tell it instead of uh, putting war beats blog and info about war beats um, right here it says instead of title and description so now it'll just show my logo up there if we view the blog there it is there's my logo there's my site there's my player you know and then you can customize other things too um, there's a bunch of those other widgets I, I you know I, I'm hesitant to go through everything because I want to keep this fairly short I know some of you are gonna already complain that I'm rambling and I am but there you go I mean this is how you create your own web website for free you can see I, di I didn't pay anything all I had to do was sign up for a Google Mail account now let's let's take a look at what this looks like to the outside world so if I sign out well let me first copy this address to my clipboard I'm gonna sign out <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go back back to it oh here we go I can still go back to it right here now I'm not signed in at this point okay so I'll, it thinks I'm just a regular visitor and you can see how the blog looks now it doesn't have the pencil it doesn't have you know the customize option up here but this is what this is what my blog looks like and I'll grant it it's ugly but you can always change it to your liking um, and that's really it there you go you know start your own blog tell the world about yourself show the world your music uh, your your graphics uh, just tell them what's on your mind you can have your own website address like I do up here you can send people to it put a link back to warbeats.com show me that you know you appreciate the site and uh, you know and post your blog address wherever you want wherever you go you know put it in your signature for forums 
you know, if you want to post it in the Warbeats forums and say, check out my blog, there you go. Do whatever you want with it. Um, but use it to your advantage, you know. Use it to build up fans or readership or, you know, just like I say, express yourself. If if you want to make a blog about music, make one about music. If you want to make one about whatever, you want to make one about politics, you can create another blog, you know, and call it, I could call it, let's say, nfx-politics.blogspot.com. Create as many blogs as you want for free using blogger.com. And I've shown you how to do it. So get out there, do it, sell yourself to the world, let them know about you, do your thing. This is NFX saying, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.